Hey YouTube. Alright, so I got a problem. My school blocked my iPod from the network, causing me not be not being able to get on. I found an alternative and at first it didn't work, but now I got it to work, so that's good. I found out how to fix that problem. Um, ever since several months ago I've been having this and finally today I figured it out. So what we're gonna do is spoof the MAC address. What you're gonna have to get, or what you're gonna have to do, is first jailbreak your iPod, and then you're gonna have to go into uh, Cydia and get Mobile Terminal. Okay, when you get that, start it up. Okay. Alright, now the first thing you're gonna have to do is type in SU root. Oops. Root. Enter. Put in your password. By default, it's Alpine, but I changed my password. Now, it doesn't actually show you typing it, but it is uh, changed. Okay, and after you do that, put in uh, ifconfig, so space, e and zero, space, ether, or other, Put in whatever MAC address you want. By default, mine is just a bunch of random numbers and letters, just like any other MAC address. Now you need uh, six sets of numbers and letters with a colon between each. So we're just going to do 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 2, or 3. And then after that, you just push enter, or return. Now your MAC address has changed. As you see my name at the top, it's gonna catch on to the internet again. There we go. Another thing to remember is that once you restart your iPod by shutting it off and turning it back on or rebooting it or anything, your MAC address is gonna be your original one. In some cases, that's good to where you don't have to reset it back to your original one. You just gotta turn it off and turn it back on. In other cases, it's kind of bad because, I mean, some people are lazy and they don't want to keep putting that code in and changing their Mac. And this really does work, so we're gonna just show you on my laptop. There you go. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, rate, comment, and favorite.